Hallelujah. I am uh, I'm in Mizoram. Uh, I'm in Mizoram, uh, Mizoram, and I'm in staying in this beautiful uh, uh, homestay called uh, Giftland. And I will post some pictures along with this video, God willing, if I'm able to do that, because I've left my computer back and I'm doing this recording on my phone. Uh, this place has finesse and uh, and it is so, so, so beautiful. I just uh, stepped out into the balcony. I saw the clouds uh, moving alongside the mountains, the sun in the sky and uh, the mountains touching the sky. And I was thinking of that uh, old song of uh, Glenn uh, Campbell where it says the mountain touches the, the old oak tree. And, and many of these things kept brought me closer into the presence of my great King and Lord Jesus Christ. And I was thinking of how much not only he loves me, but how much he loves you and he, how much he loves the world. As a further uh, next step of the devotion which I did uh, in Mapsa market, it is on, on Philippians uh, 2.13 where Paul is teaching us to work out our salvation with fear and trembling because it is God who works in you to will and to act. So whenever we inverted commas whenever we do whatever we do we should be constantly present when we are surrendered to the lord jesus christ that it is his love it is only his love that lifts us up it is only his love that cancels out any of the wrongs that we do while we do while we do and that is what paul teaches also in the book of romans when he says the just shall live by faith the just shall live by faith when he says the just shall live living and here is a verb it is something which we do on a daily basis on a daily basis coming from coming from uh, Habakkuk 2 4 I think it is it's Paul which, which Paul quotes it is it is the just shall live the just shall do whatever they do in whatever they do that life brings to them. They shall do it with faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And it is only and only surrender to him and faith in him that cancels out all the wrong that we may do. Because it is he in his sovereign will works in you through will and to act. So let's do what we do with fear and trembling. But, but, but there is hope which Paul in his beautiful epistle to the Romans says, nothing can separate you from the love of Jesus Christ. When we do and for the Lord Jesus Christ with his, with, with, with a single purpose of a white light that hits a prism and bursts out into the colors of the rainbows at the covenant made by this living God says that Hey, I am there for you. I love you. And I will read some verse, uh, verses. But before that, uh, this is the song which I want to sing with abandonment and love that lifted me. The title of the song is Love Lifted Me. the peaceful shore, very deeply stained within, sinking to rise no more. But the master of the sea heard my despairing cry, from the waters lifted me, safe am I. Love lifted me. Ever his presence live, ever his presence. 
praises to sing A love so mighty and so true Merits my soul's best song Faithful, loving, service to Him belong Love lifted me Love lifted me When nothing else could help Love lifted me Love lifted me Love lifted me When nothing else could help Love lifted me Souls in dangers look above Jesus is completely safe He will lift you by his wise out of the angry wave. He's the master of the sea, billows his will obey. He your savior wants to be saved today. Love lifted me, love lifted me. When nothing else could help, Love lifted me, love lifted me, love lifted me, when nothing else could help, love lifted me. Nothing, nothing, when you are in a loving relationship with God who created every beauty that you see around. He will lift you up. He will lift you up. He works in you and through you to will and to act so that you may rent, you may live a life, a righteous, a life that is a righteousness from him and through him and to the people you interact with inverted commas, to do, to will and to act according to his good purpose. Apart after, after Paul says, you know, referring to Habakkuk, the just shall live by faith. Here is his summary in the middle of the book where he sums up his whole argument that says, hey, listen, you cannot do anything in your flesh, but you have to do it with the spirit of God within you so that it is he who is possible to will and to act according to your good purpose. Looking upward, inward and outward to all that you do. To all that you do. I will read a few verses to give you the context of this beautiful chapter which gives you the freedom to will and to act, to work and to will and to act according to his good purpose. There is no other freedom that is available or thought by man that can be given with this freedom that Christ gives. And let me just tell you this uh, which I have in this devotion to give you the context. Oh, Paul, you know, he is trying to do He's trying to do and he sees that he can't and he lifts up his hands in surrender and he says, Oh, wretched man that I am, who will deliver me from this body of death? When I try to do, I die every minute, every second. When I try to do it in my own flesh and in my own, by my own understanding, rather than rely on the wisdom of God, and he says, thank God. He says, this is the wisdom of God. That is the responsibility of the church to show. Thank God. And this is this wisdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. So then, with my mind, I myself serve the law of God. The law that God had given for all righteous living through the prophet Moses and all the prophets that came after him that the law and the prophets I serve them I serve them he says 
with my mind and with my with, uh, with my mind i serve them with the law of god but but when i do and when i am looking upward inward and outward to all that i do therefore there is no condemnation in whatever you do for all those who look upward look inward and then look outward for those who are walking by the spirit according not according to the flesh not according to the flesh but according to the spirit for the spirit christ in you who uh, this spirit of life in christ life in christ life where in christ if this is you this is the law of christ you are walking in christ in christ for the law of the spirit of life in christ has made me free absolutely free to do so that i can walk looking upward looking inward and looking outward so that i can walk in the spirit that uh, with a freedom that only christ can give and the spirit of christ can give for the law of life in christ has made me free free from the law of sin and death sin and death and then he goes on to say it is this spirit that cries out abba father it is this spirit that gives you that while you are doing to will and to act according to his good purpose you will face perils you will face all even death even death but hey 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 there who can separate us from the love of christ say all tribulations shall a loss of property shall a loss of life of a loved one who have been taken away and snatched away before time has that as is that tribulations oh think of it can war can can war can famine let's read on who shall separate us from the love of christ shall tribulation distress persecution people that come against you because you are standing for the truth or truth in christ that is written according to the law of the universe are you going to are you going to stand alone is it famine distress nakedness peril or sword as it is written hey it has been written for the sake of christ we are killed all day long we are counted as sheep for the slaughter yet in all these things in all nothing in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us who loved us for i am persuaded that neither death nor life no angels no principalities nor powers no things present no things to come no height no depth any nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of god which is in christ jesus jesus my lord my god my savior hey whatever mire whatever depths of billows of water whichever sea you are he has control over it if you are love him as he has loved you if he has loved you for i am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers no things present nor things to come no height nor depth nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of god in christ jesus brothers when i look up i look down in and i look out i am like paul i say oh wretched man what am i doing and how am i doing it why am i doing it but it is the love of god jesus christ that compels me because it is his love that has come and resided within me so that when i look up and i look in and i look out and i see that he is working in me and through me according to his good purpose to will and to act so that i can walk as paul had 
that suggest as habakkuk had said that i can walk and live and do with a righteousness that comes from him and not out of my own strength because he loves me how can i ever measure up to a holy 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 god never never but when he works in me to will and to act according to his good purpose by faith i walk and not by sight every step of the way i walk i walk so that knowing with fear and trembling that it is his love who walk, works in me to, to will and to act according to his good purpose can you come to this freedom a freedom of the love of god in christ jesus brothers it is love that will lift us up it is love of christ jesus that will lift up your country our country my country and the world it is this love the supreme love of god who created came down as flesh to show us that he is the way the truth and the life may his love touch every heart today in jesus name amen amen